the storm of gaming be with you. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker 69 here, talking to you in another dark room. As you've seen by the intro, hope you like the new initiation intro that i made for storm singularity it's a short intro but not very long anyways um we are going back to summertime splash as well yes i'm still talking to you in a dark room i will reveal what i'm going to be playing in a minute the game that i will be doing for summertime splash to kick off june will be wait for it three two one lights on fallout three i repeat fallout three yep i'm doing fallout three for the very first time on grand star legion i will be doing this for storm singularity summertime splash and rpg game series all in one and yes this will have more than one part it will not be a one-off. We'll see how long it takes to beat this game. Yes, that means I'm starting a new Let's Play for Summertime Splash. It's going to be Fallout 3. And the version of Fallout 3 that I will be playing is... The PC version. I will be doing the PC version of Fallout 3, which will be the Game of the Year edition... That includes all of the DLCs for the game. Just note that this game is rated M for Mature or Peggy 18 for those of you outside of the US. Um, I will be doing some of the DLC stuff that is in the Game of the Year Edition. You've got Broken Steel and Point Lookout. I may also do Operation Anchorage as well as The Pit and Mothership Zeta. I don't know about Mothership G Zeta just yet. That has something to do with sci-fi. I could save that for October Spooktoberfest. So, yeah. Um, just note that, um, that, yes, this game is rated in for Mature. It will have language. Blood and gore, intense violence, and also decapitation, dismemberment, and lots of blood. Um, lots of gunfire as well as super mutants, feral ghouls, and creatures. Like, you know, mud crabs or things that'll make you jump out of your chair, you know. Anyways, um... The other versions of Fallout 3 that you can find are the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of the game. You can also find that, Dia uh, that uh, I don't know why I almost said Diablo. I had Diablo on my mind. Really? Anyways, Fallout 3 was also available on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One as well via backwards compatibility. As for Xbox One, it's available from Game Pass for the Xbox One and Xbox Series X. And you can also find that Fallout 4, yes, I'm saying it, Fallout 4 is now available on the PlayStation 5 as well as the Xbox Series X 
via the next gen update. So yeah, which is technically the anniversary update for Fallout 4, but getting that out of the way, yes, I'm teasing it. I'm going to be doing Fallout 4 as well down the line. I don't know when yet. We'll see. First, I want to do Fallout 3. I I do want to say that I, I'm giving per permission for Mr. Fulcrum to do Fallout 1 and 2, and if he wants to, he can also do Fallout Tactics as well. That would, those would be fun for him to do, since he's into those kinds of games. Why? I've given you permission to do those if you want to, Mr. Fulcrum. And there's your shout-out as well if you do watch this video. Anyways, um... I will be doing the PC version of Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition, all the... I don't know if I'm going to do all of the DLCs all at once. We'll see. First, I want to focus on the main story first. I will be joining the Brotherhood of Steel. We will be taking on the Enclave as well as a bunch of raiders and super mutants and feral ghouls. Things out in the wasteland. And yeah. Um, I picked this for Summertime Splash for a reason. The theme for Summertime Splash for 2024 is themed around the desert, wasteland, hot sun, because I know it's going to be scorching hot this summer. So, yeah. Um, cacti is basically, the theme of it is desert. So, desert wasteland. Uh, like Death Valley, California, you know. Anyways, um... Let's get to it, shall we? Hope you guys enjoy. Just note that this will be a long play video as well for each part. Could be up to an hour long, depending on how much I do in the very beginning of it. I may skip the intro as there is some real music in this game as well. I will also be having mods on this game as well. I do got some mods that would touch up the game and make it look good. Um... I did recently beat the game on my own since I got it on the PC version. I wanted to see if I could beat the game and how long it would take me. It didn't take me long, so maybe this will be a short Let's Play. So, yeah. There's a reason why I'm making the parts for Fallout 3 longer is so that the Let's Play is shorter and not a lot of parts. That's why I'm putting that TSA out there now. So, yeah. Um... Fallout 3. Let's get into it, shall we? Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add your parents, and click that subscribe button. And also click the notification bell to know when I upload new videos. Alright. Let's get into this gameplay, shall we? Fallout 3. Game of the Year Edition. It's the PC version. And I will be playing this with keyboard and mouse as well. One more thing. Yes, a controller is compatible for Fallout 3 on the PC version as well. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, it doesn't really matter. And for PC, the Fallout 3 could be find, found on Steam, GOG, and it's also available on the Epic Game Store as well now. So there you go. As well as uh, Windows PC for Windows 10 and 11. All right, now we can get to the game. Guys, thanks for joining me for this new episode of Storm Singularity, also known as RPG Game Series for Summertime Splash. Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition. I had to turn down the music as, yeah, this game's got a lot of copyright music. I had to turn it off, so no radio for this entire gameplay. Hooray! for DMA, uh, you know, not being able to have the music, it takes away a lot of the fun, but, you know, anyways, let's get to it, shall we?
Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Bowser Storm That's a good Rage. Name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Why not? You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> It's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just a... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in the cardiac things... arrest. Start compressions. Things... Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? You... One, we need a one year on later. Fail to meet my expectations no, and there don't will be look straight into the light now. James and his cheerly chatter. The decorations, the fruits of the night and the this place will feel just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone. But I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Dada. All right, so this is your special book where you can set up your specials, which is your stats. S is for strength. E is for perception. E is for endurance. C is for charisma. I is for intelligence. A is for agility. L is for luck. And that spells special. Knowing me, I'm going to be widely into uh, energy weapons and power armor and things like that. And also sniper rifles as well. So I'm going to definitely need perception, endurance, agility, and intelligence. And everything else is going to be on... Everything else is going to stay on five. Oh, I got it one point left. Let's see. So we just got through setting up my specials. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Remember that passage. I'm going to need it later on in the game. These experiments. Don't 
Nine years later. Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a Pip-Boy. I wish I was ten. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just helped with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I really have no idea. Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things, believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Hey, you having a nice time? Are you having a nice Attention, time? everyone! Are you it's having a nice time? time to cut the cake! Andy, wait! Oh, no. I am mortified about the cake. Yes, I know you yeah. were I got a nature and the mackers. Super Nonsense. cool, right? Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. Is that it again? You are I right. No way. You are you will be a reminder that life is not all fun and games. Enjoying yourself? Uh. How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. This is supposed to a be a baseball party. cap! Thank Fun. you! You should try it sometime, Daddy. You might like it. Hey, yeah. Happy birthday, Sonny! You, you know, enjoying your part of my... Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. My job well, plus well. You guys like that? I like parties. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna eat it before he says anything. Sure thing, officer. I just Roman. ate the sweet roll. Nice chatting with. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. I threw it away, but you're welcome to eat it off the floor if you want. You think you're funny? We'll see how funny you are later when I'm pounding on your face. Come on, Paul, this loser ain't worth our time. Phew. Thanks again for coming. But you're such an idiot. Just ignore him. Your dad's the overseer. Couldn't he talk to, talk to him about Butch? Come on, don't ask me that. You know he would if I asked, but where would that leave me? It's bad enough being the overseer's daughter. If everyone knew I ran to daddy every time I had a problem, nobody would ever talk to me again. We'll think of some way to get Butch back, I promise. But I'm not getting my father involved. Jonas? I am 
Mortified about the king. You guys are dumb. Somebody's got a better idea than those. Congratulations, you trashed the cake, robot. Andy. Grease weasels. What do you guys think? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Hmm. Let's go! Pretty good. But is a weasel scary or just goofy? Oh. They've got Here's teeth in their face, right? Um, what about the tunnel rats? Or aren't rats tough enough? Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and I, Amada threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. I don't know. Maybe. Shut beep up boop beep boop. Boop. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm ten years old. Can it, Jonas? Where's my surprise present already? Oh, but Dad told me it was okay to come down here. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Beep boop, beep boop, beep beep boop. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? What do I... Here? We can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? All in one! Shoot. You'll be... Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. What is their anyway? So, I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? Six years later. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Anything I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So. Pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? 
If you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Hi, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here. And good luck. Let's go take the goat. The G O A T. Good. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you Get stopped in here way, to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? Let's go. Hey, look, it's Smart Mouth. Afraid I ain't got time for your fancy words right now. So beat it. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Tunnel Snakes! This twerp needs another lesson! Butch, hey. stop it! Uh. Leave him alone! Uh. Uh. Give him another one! Oh. Hit him again! Stop fighting! Teach you to mess uh. with the Tunnel Please Snakes! Please, stop fighting! Give him another one! Uh. Stop it! Come on, Is that Tunnel really Snakes! Necessary? This little bitch isn't worth our time. Hey, Susie, Whatever you say, new? Butch. You're Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. You're the oh, boss. Not much. Tunnel snakes rule. Our heater's on the fritz Fine. again. Fine, let's go. You're kidding. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Sure, I'm ready. I bet I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Well, there we go. If everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic dis... Distabulation of the fusion singularity? SINGULARITY! Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Scream for help. Medicate the affected area to the best of your abilities. Restrain the patient and merely observe the infectious spreads. Scream for help! Question 3. <laughs> you discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Confiscate the stolen property by force and leave the boy there as punishment. Pick the boy's pocket and take the stolen property for yourself and leave him to his fate. Lead the boy to safety and then turn him into the overseer. Question 4. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Hatcher? Catcher, designated hitter, none. You wish the vault had a soccer team. Designated hitter. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? 
Obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol. Offer your most prized possession for the resident's life. Ask Granny for a minigun instead. After all, you don't want to miss. Throw your tea in Granny's face. What? No! Ask Granny for a minigun instead. After all, you don't want to miss. Question 6. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door, trade a bolt hoodlum for the cherry bomb, and blow the door open. Go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, and shoot the lock off. Walk away and let the old coot rot. Go to the armory, retrieve the laser pistol, and shoot the lock off. Question 7. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? A bullet to the brain. No. Large doses of an anti-mutagen agent. Prayer. May God will spare, spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion. Removal of the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Yes, do that. Question 8. Mm -hmm. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Sneak into the resident's quarters and steal the comic book from his desk. Slip some knockout drops into the resident's Nuka Cola and take the comic book when he's unconscious. Sneak into the resident's quarters and steal the comic book from his desk. Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Loosen the bolts on some pipes. When the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. Put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. Break into the locked medicine cabinet and replace the high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. No, don't ever do that. No, that's even bad for April Fool's pranks. Manipulate the power wattage on his razor and he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. I think I'm going with put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. The Overseer. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yo, Teach! I'm done! Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. I'm all done, Mr. Brach. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. 
Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Snake life forever. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science? Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the GOAT says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. What? That's impossible. Bye. It's nice to know I can still be surprised. Pedicurist. I might have guessed manicurist, or even masseuse. But apparently, you're a foot person. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Here we go. Let's do that. Hey. Hey there. Snake life forever. Anything is possible, even an egg. Three years later. Selfish and insubordinate. Just wake up. You need Come to on, know wake up. Things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on, you've got to wake up. Huh? What's wrong, Amada? How weird. I was just dreaming about you. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get some sleep. Huh? What's wrong, Amada? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. What do you mean? His dad? My dad is gone. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. I've never seen you so scared, Amada. What's happened? It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. My dad can't have left. The door is sealed shut. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? No, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort, I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! All right. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. Chinese assault rifle! Go! Sniper rifle. 
Bolt Armory. Ooh. These are all from mods, by the way. That's why I'm getting excited. It's the first time I've actually seen this particular stuff from this mod. That's why I had that reaction. Anyways. Oh. If you're wondering what I just did, I pushed the command button for the PC version only, and I typed FOV, which changes the frame of view. Yeah. Basically, it makes it so it's it looks better and not as close to the camera in your face, you know. All right. Kill Blaster! Combat Stroker! What? Striker? Combat Striker! Let's do that one! <laughs> oh my god! Dart Gun? Skull Crusher! I'll do the Chinese assault rifle. Yo, there's more in here. Why am I sitting down? I just sat down on my guns. <laughs> you can start laughing now. Oh my god, that was funny. Dude. Okay. This is basically a mod that makes it so that the start of the game gives you more stuff to choose from. So you don't have to just start with the lousy pistol at the beginning. Again, it only works with mods on the PC version through Steam, GOG, and Epic Game Store. As well as the PC Game Pass through Windows 10 and 11. That's able to have mods as well. But the Xbox and PS3 or PS4 and Xbox One versions do, does not have mods at all. So, yeah. We're going to get rid of the 101 jumpsuit. Don't need that. All right, let's there get there. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. Oh, oh, that was close. Hold it right there. Bring it. No. I would put the mods that I have for Fallout 3 in the description below. But it's a pretty long list. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Come on, let's see if we can get her- get- help her. No, I can't go back in there. It's- it's dark. And there's rat roaches. Don't worry, Butch. I'll get your mom out of there. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best! Hurry, 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 hurry! Yeah. Those are rad roaches. You don't like bugs, then don't watch. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it.
if I can find to their quarters. You're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. It's oh, I chance. will make. Don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like. Oh! 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 Ah. oh. They died ah. in there. Oh! This is the Lucian. Oh, I got good karma for that. No, you get good karma for doing good deeds, and you get bad karma for doing bad deeds. So what I just did there, saving those two from getting shot, that was a good deed. Half the time, it doesn't always work, though. Because those two always die at the beginning of the game. I told you, I don't know anything. I know you'd turn up you sooner or later. There he is. Will it even let me talk to him? I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. If you ever lay a hand on your on Amada again, I'll make you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amata will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amata, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Is that what you said to Jonas before you killed him? My father's no traitor. You were a murderer and a thug. Just give me the keys to your office and your password, then I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. Mata, trust me. If you don't give me what I want, I'm not doing that. Nope. I'll escape without your help, then. I'm not the one who started killing people. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place, and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! Guards, help! Hey, 
Damn, that says storm. <laughs> Is that a coincidence? Oh, that's cool. We got that right the first time. Open Overseer's Tunnel. Hurry up. I almost didn't believe it was possible. I couldn't have done it without your help. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. You're right. The vault's going to be fine. Come on, Amana. There's a big world outside. I would, if I only cared about myself. You're too good for this vault. Your dad can pull down by himself. I certainly hope so, but I just don't know. You're right. Stay here. It's for the best. Goodbye. Find your dad. I'll, I'll miss you. You've been a good friend. Start right in the middle of the overseas. Take him. Yes, I'm recording. Right, we finally made it outside of the vault. This right here is from another mod. This is a starter kit that I found on the Nexus website where you get the mods for Fallout. Good thing the ammo is weightless. Okay. I don't really need the 10 millimeter piece pistol. I'm gonna put that away. I don't really, really need the baseball bat either or the dart gun or the frag grenades. Don't really need the minigun either. Or the missile launcher. Alright, we finally escaped Bolt 101. And we're out in the world. And we just leveled up.
That is the command that I just used to help you level up when you need it. Advance level. All right, that's into the pit. Point lookout. Mothership Zeta or Zeta. Broca Steel loaded. Broca Steel has been loaded. Your level cap has been increased by increased to 30. Technically the level cap in Fallout 3, there really is no level cap. You can actually go up to level 50. I did say it was going to be a long play video. Howdy, Deputy Weld! Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Alright, this is Megaton. I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right, message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? No. What do you want to know? All right. Mind your manners now. What's up? We're going to disarm this atom bomb here. Every you have successfully disarmed the bomb. Congratulations. The power of the atom. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Later. All right, so we disarmed the uh, atom bomb that they think is dead or, or a dud. It's not. It will explode if you pick a, a reason for it to happen. Greater side supply. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Crater Side Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? No, I don't want anything to do with them anymore. Sure, I've got plenty to say. 
about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting. Until Dad left. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Not interested. I'm just here to do some shopping. Well, okay, I guess. But I promise you'll love it when you hear about the guide. Maybe later, huh? I hear you're the person to see stuff about buying stuff for my house. Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. Okay, let's take a look at your stuff. Sure thing. It's your own BB gun. Collar of pacification? I want to sell that too. He made them credit. Are you serious right now? Good hunting. Need a little bit more than that. Here we go. Good hunting. Have fun. Sorry that took a bit. I had to sell some stuff to make some credit. Now let's go to, let's go check out my house. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Where can I buy more things for my place? Yes, I believe this place could do with a bit more in the way of decoration. Speak with Moira Brown at Craterside Supply here in Megaton. She has quite a selection of items to enhance your living space. 
I have to go if now. If there's anything you require further, feel free to ask, sir. It's Wadsworth. This is from a mod that, give, that it basically gives you an expansion for the house in Megaton. A very good expansion, I might add. Not bad. Look at all the... Wow. So, what kind of pool is this? Is this where everybody gets a gun and then they shoot the ball into the hole? Not bad. So that's the Megaton house. There's also something else I wanted to check out and show. I guess we'll do that later on another episode. That is if you enjoy this one. you gob it ain't the radio the enclave station comes in fine it's galaxy news their signal's been shit lately work come on work goddamn baby tamper with that and we're Son going down a problem bitch. Why won't you work come on Colin moriarty at your service welcome to moriarty's my saloon my home my slice of heaven in this backwards little burg if you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I, I were born in the Vault 101? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the Vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Dad told me you were bo we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella escaped, oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? I was kidding. Dad talked about you all the time. Now, re now really, where is he? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. 
and information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred caps and daddy's location's yours. All right, Moriarty, here's 100 caps. Now, where's my father? Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into D.C. to the Galaxy News radio station. Uh, good luck now. Bob, if you need something and that's me, done. It. If you need something What's shaking? Me, spill it. That was Moriarty. Huh? Born in the ball, we die in the ball. Yeah, why? Hello? Hello? Alright, this is where we're going to end it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the fairs, and click that subscribe button, and also click the notification bell to know when I upload new videos. Like I said, it's going to be long play episodes for Fallout 3. This is part one. If you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. I will be putting chapters on this video so that there's timestamps so where you can watch it. That's something I'm new that I've been doing with my videos lately. Especially if they're one hour or two hours long or even three hours long. But it's time if you put a timestamp on there. It'll be easier to watch. If you want to take a break and you come back to it later, just click on the timestamp and continue where you left off. You know? Alright. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.